Hello everyone, this is Emma Lupin, and I'm back with Sherlock Holmes, Secret of the Silver Earring. Just let me just check. Okay, let's turn down the volume there. Start this. Okay. So, last time I entered this forest maze, but I did look up the walkthrough. Yes, yes, again, because I'd be lost in here forever. And I made some notes on how to get through it. Well, in addition to the scraps of notes I had before, was that... Not very engaging. No. More confusing. Is that a real monk up there standing in the rain? Or is it a statue? See him right there? Why are you standing in the rain, brother? You'll catch cold that way. Even with the hood drawn up. Okay, so let's see... Okay. This should be recording. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. To the... Uh, let's see. Where am I going? Let's see. Step one. Take path to the left. Uh, there isn't really a path to the... I guess this counts. Okay, path to the left. Sherlock, move faster. I can go no further. Huh. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I must have take I must have already taken the path to the left. Go forward until first crossroad. Okay, this looks like the first crossroad, right? Let's double check here. Stupid forest. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is the first crossroad. Okay, take path to the right or ahead, depending on the screen view. Back to the right. Okay, go one screen. Go one screen past the pond on the left. This pond. And turn left. Okay, one screen past it. Turn left. What can it be? Turn right at next... Tr what can it be? What can what be? If you don't know what's going on here, Sherlock wanted to investigate some ruins at a local abbey because uh, the, the man that just got murdered... Uh, Hunter something... He had a bottle of wine from this abbey, so... Let's see, uh... Turn right at next crossroad. This is a crossroad, so turning right. Right at next crossroad. Turn middle left at next crossroad. I was already wandering around the forest enough last time, so you can't blame me for using the walkthrough. Uh, this is not a crossroad. Is it near there? Is what near... Never mind. Okay, that's left, lower. That's... Okay, this must be middle left. Okay, good. Hope this is recording well. I guess I'll check in between. Uh, middle left. Sherlock. There you go. I really think I'll... Between first person and third person, in this case, I think I prefer 
uh, first person point of view for these games. I've mentioned before, but um, this was the first of the Frogware Sherlock Holmes games to use third person point of view. Not that there, you know, there was only one before, but still, this this game is unique in that it is only in third person point of view. Uh, the game after this was first person, although I think, if I remember correctly, it was originally made first person only, but then they created a remastered version of the game, which allowed you to switch between first and third person. The fourth and fifth games also allows you to switch between first and third person, because I guess they were testing out and playing with the, uh, camera angle technology that they developed. Hmm. I wonder... Which came out first? The fourth game or the remastered version of the third game? I don't know. Huh. Okay, see pale on left by the road. There's the pale. Okay. Uh, it takes... So keep going along this road in the rain. Why didn't we pack an umbrella? This is England. Ah! ah uh, uh, uh. Take the small path going up at the next crossroad. Okay. Oh. A bottle of liqueur from the Richmond Abbey. Liqueur. That's an odd way to pronounce it. I don't think I've heard someone say it that way. It's always liquor. Whatever. I'm guessing this is the way to go. Run! Run in the rain! Hmm. I smell smoke. Rather shocking, considering it's raining so hard. We but that's also not good. And uh, before I continue, is anybody else thinking of that one Mythbusters episode where they tested whether you get uh, wetter uh, running or whether you stay drier walking versus running in the rain? I forget what the result for that was. Oh. I think um, I should save the game. Hold on. Just in case. Oh! Oh, you can see it right there! Oh, boy. And it's not being put out by the rain. That's that's not good. I guess it's an... Quick, some water to douse this fire. Else we lose precious evidence. Okay, the evidence is on fire. Um, Turn around and go forward to the crossroads. Okay. Oh, joy. Uh, uh, crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. Run, Sherlock. Pale. And now, quickly, I must find some water. Yeah, it's not like we could, you know, fill it up with rainwater that's coming down. Okay, take the uh, left path. Run, Sherlock. Left path. Okay, uh, left path. Turn. There's not a right path yet. Okay. Right path. Sherlock! Oh, dang it, Sherlock. Ugh. Turn left.
Probably the same game over screen. Uh, Oh no, I got lost. Ah, shoot. Ugh, controls! Not gonna make it. Nope, not gonna make it. Stupid controls. Yeah, yeah. This is why they recommended doing practice runs before you um, set off the timer. Okay, let's do some practice runs then. In fast forward. Okay, did a couple runs. Let's see if I can do this again. It's not that hard to memorize, I suppose. Some water to douse this fire, else we lose precious evidence. Gotta be careful not to click too many times and confuse the basic controls. Run! Don't jog! You are jogging in the rain, Sherlock. Quickly, I must find some water. Yes. Too bad I can't use the water from the sky. That's not part of the actual game. It's just in the foreground. No, it has to be pond water. Only pond water can put out this fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. Well, you and Sherlock Holmes. I am being watched. Oh no, not a. How did I do that? <sighs> not again. I thought I, I got confused again. Oh no. And who is watching you, Sherlock, besides me and the audience? If you're talking about the audience, go that way. That way. Oh no. 
just a little bit of time. Am I going to make it? I'm being watched by the audience. I feel so much pressure on me right now. I'm sorry I run so slowly. I just wasn't programmed that way. Blame the developers. Come on. Whew. My word, I can't see anything. Except for, you know, the sunlight. But Okay, I didn't have as many fails as I did with the dog, but still. Uh, I guess the visuals weren't as necessary with these directions, but uh, that could be really tricky. Uh, okay. Probably should have done some more practice runs. Okay, let's start looking around. Wow, All this place... these papers were gathered and burned. I need to find evidence somewhere else. Okay, anything else? Just looking around. This wasn't burned. That was silly. I must light the lamp. I can't see a thing. Light the lamp, reignite the fire. Ah, now I see better. They need to synchronize that sound a bit more, didn't they? Uh, Someone has slept here. I need something. Is that blood? I need something. Hmm, this is ink. It is not English. And it fell on the floor maybe two, three days ago? How can you tell? Someone has slept here. Is that all you have to say? A bottle of liqueur from the Richmond Abbey. How shocking that it's here. You know. Since this is a part of the Richmond Abbey. Okay, anything else? Someone has slept here. Anything else? Oh! Footsteps, size 10. The big guy. I need something. Knife. Ah, I was positive. It moves. Very interesting. I should leave this forest and join Watson at Sherringford Hall. These letters are faded and illegible. Oh, that's real Someone helpful. Someone knelt here often. How curious. These letters are faded and illegible. These letters are faded and illegible. Letter. This ink is not made in England. Interesting. Okay, uh, map. Let us teleport to... Okay, let us look through these first. Ink, not English, fell on the ground at shelter in ruins not more than three days ago. Shelter in ruins, unclear shoe trace... Unclear shoe traces of 10. Of 10? Size 10. Letter found at ruins. Writing corresponds to the writing found on piece of paper in office of Grimble under the tiger statue. But this time author has drunk much before writing. Interesting. Richmond Abbey. Uh -huh. Large National Forest. Letter from an alcoholic. I have always tried to avoid boredom in any possible way. First, it was just a few rounds with my fellows, then the alcohol all the time. Alcohol all the time, all the time. All the... Read them hundreds of times. Enough, enough, enough. My story is worth as much as another story. I've got nothing to be ashamed of, nothing. I was ruined and misunderstood. This swine enjoyed success in his little... in his life because of my mother's money. But half of his money held by him must be given back to me according to all that is right absolutely your honor half 
And I wasn't going to let myself so go easy when you are so far away and when you are dream owing to him I wouldn't be able to I would be able to never more to this cursed foul container Ugh. shades of the devil I was told about it at school when I was quite small shades of the devil yes certainly they're they are demons they whisper sweet words into your ear they listen to you and make you promises to you they say that they will help you when you are down but no they help you to rise only so that they can lead you to hell they lifted me and under each arm but when i bade them cease in the midst of their of the prattle i then heard the sound of their demon wings demons haven't done this on purpose, I swear. I'm sure he knew, but why? Why have money? It's certain, Your Honor, they... Wow, this is a mess. Yeesh. So I can't teleport from in here. Are the walls blocking my teleportation service? Come on, Sherlock, move. What? Why can't I get out of this forest with the teleportation service? Okay, wow, it has been long enough even though I cut down a few minutes. So uh, I'm going to stop the video and see if I can't wander my way out of this forest. And I'll be right, and I'll be back next time with more Sherlock Holmes, Secret of the Silver Earring. Uh, remember, if you like this video, or congratulate me on quickly getting through this maze. I know it didn't seem like much, but it could be tricky if you didn't have directions. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Uh, I'm glad I got the walkthrough up for this. Uh, uh, remember to press that like button, leave a comment to tell me how I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel, or just sharing this with your friends on social media. Every little bit helps. I'll see you guys next time with more of Sherlock Holmes, Secret of the Silver Earring. Bye!